there, my friend. This is Dr. A, and I want to welcome you back to another episode here on the Fit Father Project and the Fit Mother Project podcast. Today's episode is amazing because we're going to be taking a deep dive into the health benefits of mineral supplementation with my friend and today's guest expert, Caroline Allen. Caroline is the co-founder and CEO of a company called Beam Minerals, it's B-E-A-M Minerals. And I met Caroline a couple months back at a medical conference, and she absolutely blew my mind about the health impacts of a particular type of mineral complex called fulvic and humic acids. And this is something that you're listening to today and you're hearing these terms fulvic and humic acids. This is going to be a huge topic of discussion in the health and wellness space in the next five to 10 years. So you're learning about this first, and the reason it's going to blow up and explode is because it's so important for human health. Minerals are key. And when we talk about minerals, many people have the vague idea that our bodies require minerals, things like sodium, potassium, chloride. We test these things in the blood. We know they're important for hydration. Well, it turns out there's a whole different world of these things called trace minerals that our bodies need much smaller amounts of, things like copper, things like iodine, things like boron molybdenum, these different trace minerals that have huge impacts on our bodies. And we've been needing trace minerals throughout the entire human existence. Yet today, we've done a whole bunch of crazy stuff to the soil with big agricultural processing, the different pesticides, fertilizers, monocrop planting. All this stuff has deeply depleted our soils. And when our soil is depleted, the plants that we eat don't get the same kind of minerals. The animals that eat those plants don't get the same kind of minerals. And whatever we eat ends up being mineral depleted. And when we're mineral depleted, we have serious health issues. And the good news is we can actually replenish our minerals with the proper substances. So Caroline is going to tell you her personal story in just a second, how she basically went through a corporate career, working very hard, finding herself totally wrecked with her health, and how she turned it around by kind of being suggested to a friend that she try these really crazy mineral supplements. And then it totally changed her life, and she actually is now a preacher and enthusiast for spreading the word about these fulvic and humic acids, which are plant-derived mineral complexes. Now, if you're a member of our Fit Father or Fit Mother programs, you've probably heard us talk about things like put a pinch of pink Himalayan salt in your water in, in the morning because that gives you some trace minerals. And it does. That is a good habit to continue. But the kind of mineral supplementation that Caroline is talking about today is the next level. It is like getting your mineral game on the Ferrari level. If you like Ferraris and that's your thing. Uh, but the point being, I think this is super important. And I, I believe it's something that can dramatically enhance your health. That's why I want to bring Caroline on. And Caroline was also super generous enough to give us a discount code if you do want to try any of her products for fit fathers and fit mothers the discount code is fit family. That's one word, F I T F A M I O Y fit family. We can go to beam minerals. There's also going to be some links in the show notes and you can try it into their products. If you want to get into these fulvic and humic acid substances, I'm personally taking them. My wife is taking them. Now we're getting super into this because we believe it's a big game changer for health. So I wanted to have you to check this out. Listen to what Caroline has to say, her story and some of the actual chemistry, the biochemistry around how this out all works in our bodies and our cells. And I think you'll be convinced. Very compelling stuff. And I always encourage you as well to do your own research. You can also check out fulvic and humic acids and read about the stuff. It gets pretty sciencey, but I think what's cool about this conversation is Caroline does such a good job of breaking it down and making it simple to understand. And I help her summarize along the way. And I think we have a really powerful conversation that you're about to learn the new frontier of health, which is deep mineral supplementation. Let's dive into today's conversation with CEO of B Minerals, Caroline Allen. All right, Caroline, welcome officially to the Fit Father Project and Fit Mother Project podcast. I'm so happy to have you here. This is going to be a beautiful discussion today. Thank you so much for having me. I've been looking forward to this. So this is going to be fun um, for many reasons. And, and one is that I love in what, what what is often passed around as your bio when you go on different shows and talk about the work that you do. You're a mineral enthusiast. And I don't know how many people can really say they're a mineral enthusiast, yet it's such an important thing because I don't think that people realize that minerals are really the basis of our biology, how our nerves conduct, uh, the structures, our bones are made up of calcium and phosphorus. And, and there's this whole world of minerals and it comes from the ground and we take these things and we start to feel better. And, and this is a really cool conversation because we're going to get into your deep expertise around particular types of minerals 
trace minerals, these kind of rare minerals that have really energizing, vitalizing effects in the body. And I don't think enough people know about this. And I've been getting more into it. And you've been a teacher for me as well. So I want to learn from you in this podcast. I know everyone listening wants to learn. But to kick this off, please tell us a little bit about your bio and your background, about how you went to becoming a mineral enthusiast, what you went through with your health. And then we'll like segue into the idea of replenishing our bodies with minerals and maybe a little bit of the geeky sciencey stuff because it's so mm-hmm. relevant to this discussion. Yeah, that's great, Anthony. I I really enjoy telling my story because it was the inception of my interest in minerals and it it my interest in minerals just was so amazing that I've been super inspired to empower people, other people with the information. So I came out of a corporate career. I was extremely depleted and in very ill health. I had completely flatlined adrenals for three entire years. I had inflammation throughout my gut and my body. I had, um, And I had been gluten-free for six or seven years, but had been unable to kind of get over the hump and, and heal my gut. I had really bad inflammation in my mouth. Um, I had super bad gingivitis and bone loss um, and re- recession um, with really deep pockets. And I'd been working, I'd worked with three different dentists saying, you know, there's got to be, what is the problem here? And um, I also had headaches every day, like almost every day I lived off Advil, which is, of course, mm-hmm. terrible for the gut. Yeah. Um, and I also had really bad sinus issues with um, sinus um, infections happening just repeatedly. So you can imagine the state that I was in. Yeah. And my my business partner, uh, Dan Howard, he suggested that I try these plant-based liquid minerals. And I took them and I am also not a great person when it comes to um, supplements because I hate taking pills and I'm not a very routinized person. So I'm not good at doing things unless they really make a difference. Mm -hmm. But strangely, what I found with these minerals was that every morning I woke up and I was like, ooh, I want my minerals. And I would drink them and they taste like water, which is real makes them really easy to take. So I took them, I I didn't really notice much difference. I'm even though I was in quite ill health, I'm also a super energetic person, you know, and probably I'm not really a type A, but I'm very driven. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I didn't notice a difference, but I went to my dentist after about a month and I had my teeth cleaned and I my teeth were markedly less sensitive, which um, usually they, I had such sensitivity, I had to have Novocaine to have my teeth cleaned, which is really terrible. And I didn't have to have it that time. And then my dentist came and did the exam and she looked in my mouth and she was like, whoa, what's what's changed? The pH in your mouth is completely different. The tissues which had been red and swollen and un- and really unhappy were pink and, and healthy. And I was like, you know, I couldn't really think of it. And I was like, okay, I, I think it might be these minerals. Mm-hmm. So she said, well, you just keep taking them. And since then, I have completely healthy teeth. I still have recession from the past, mm-hmm. but I actually, but the the pockets I have, I just went to the dentist a couple of weeks ago and I only have like ones and twos. I had one, three, and I yeah. had almost all fives and sixes, you know, when they measure the That's crazy. Depth. Yes. I, have, I certainly have threes too. That's a huge change it's, in your tissue. Wow. It's a huge, like she has, she said, yeah. I've not had this with other people. So she she actually has started telling her her patients that have gingivitis and mouth issues to take these minerals. I've also had remineralization of the tooth surface where I had punky areas where they, it's now hard, the dentin is now hard. Nice. So um, really incredible change there. So then after about um, eight weeks, I went to my naturopath and I'd been working with my naturopath for three years trying to heal my adrenals. And I had they had been completely flatlined. At my last appointment, she had suggested that I take hydrocortisone. And I said, no, I don't want to do that. Um, but I had started these minerals and I did the um, saliva test for the adrenals a few weeks before. And I went in and she opened the book to look at the test results and she like her eyes kind of went big and she turned it around. She said, look at this. Have you been taking the hydrocortisone? I said, no, no, no. I I, I think I might be these minerals. Mm-hmm. 
So my where they had been flatlined or below flatlined, they were one third of the way up, you know, kind of the chart. And they were also had their natural up and down jagged mm-hmm. look that they're supposed to have. And since then, my adrenals have just really rebounded substantially. Of course, starting a business takes a lot of energy, yeah. but I, I'm sure that I wouldn't have been able to do this without the minerals. So those nice. are those are two of the big things. And then slowly over time, things like headaches. I don't hardly ever get a headache anymore. I don't have sinus problems. And this is the only thing that I changed. Okay, mm-hmm. so I'm not a, I'm not one of these people who takes a lot of supplements. I mean, I take my vitamin D and I take my zinc and I do take thyroid. I do have low thyroid, though my thyroid is less low than it was. Mm-hmm. So I started researching and that's where the real story begins. Um, and uh, do you want me to just jump into it? <laughs> well, yeah, no, I do. I actually, I, I do. And I, I will make mm-hmm. maybe one comment here yeah. is what's interesting is because it's like when you say I started taking this mineral s- uh, supplement that you're taking, a lot of people might think this is equivalent to taking like one thing, but what we're going to find out in your story is this is a concert of all these different little metals primarily, <laughs> but like metals from the earth that we normally used to get through eating mm-hmm. good, rich soil. The plants uptake them, we get them, but today we're missing so many of these and they have profound health effects. Just because we need small amounts of these things, which makes them trace, doesn't mean that they don't have huge effects. So what do you find from your research? Let's go through the, the the next step of the story. Yes, because we can also learn some really interesting things, which is that not all minerals are, uh, or sources of minerals are the same. And so it's not only that I just started adding minerals to my body, that was a huge part of it, but it was also that I was providing them in these specific plant-based mineral formats that guess what my body and your body, the human body, is evolved to use these substances for mineral replenishment. Mm. So anyway, so because I started feeling so well, it's like, how could these you know, little half ounce shots of minerals make such a radical difference in my health? And I started down the rabbit hole. And during that process, I first started into, well, how does a cell work? You know, how does, what is a molecule and how does molecular biology, I mean, how do things actually work? How does something absorb into the body? How does something assimilate into a cell? How does digestion actually work? Why are minerals so important? And here's here's what I, I've spent a lot of time trying to simplify it because it's very, very complex. And I realize people so need to understand this. So I've kind of broken it down into some specific components that I think will blow people, which blew my mind and I feel like begin to empower people. The first is we tend to think of our body as a set of systems, tissues, you know, bones, you know, a heart, a liver, a kidney, you know, a cardiovascular system, you know, hormones, these different things. But Mm -hmm. guess what? Your entire body is made of cells. An adult human has roughly 37 trillion cells in their body. Every single part of your cell is, I mean, of your body is made of cells. Mm -hmm. Just think of that. So we have to, when we're thinking about minerals, we have to do a paradigm shift. Instead of thinking about systems and tissues and different things like that, you think about supporting your entire cellular system. Because the amazing thing about your cellular system, it is constantly working to gain and maintain homeostasis, which is a balance, a healthy balance. And it has incredible capacity to do so when it has the components and the energy necessary to do it. Mm -hmm. So the first thing, you have 37 trillion cells in your body and every single cell requires minerals to function. Mm-hmm. Not a nice to have. You can live without vitamins. You can even live without nutrition for a long time. But without minerals, you, your cells will cease to function. And that means you will cease to function. Yeah. One of the ways to understand that is when a cell has all the mineral components that it requires, it can generate about 12 units of energy. This is a, just a metaphor, but we're mm-hmm. going to use it because it's it's helpful. Whereas when it doesn't have those mineral cofactors available, it can only generate one. Hmm. So when you think about 
modern humans and we're eating food that is depleted of minerals because of our production farming methods. I mean, severely depleted. Most modern humans have only about 30 to 37% of the minerals that they need to function at a really high rate, okay? Mm -hmm. At an optimal level. Only 30, if that's if you're eating really, really well, 37%, think of that. And that's like eating a lot of plant foods, like not just like maybe some fortified foods. If you're eating a lot of plant foods that are sucking these things up from depleted soils, there. Yeah, I mean, it's shocking. That's even, it's shocking. Yes. So now no wonder your body is having a hard time digesting and you're having inflammation and you're having all these chronic issues, joint issues and cramping and headaches, all these chronic issues that, that are that are somewhat low level and then way more lo- higher level in people who have sensitivities or um, maybe mold issues, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah. So when you start providing minerals to the body, then this whole cellular system begins to light up. But this is the next piece that we have to think about. So, and this is where I I was like, okay, so I provided minerals to my body. That's cool. Well, lots of people take minerals. Why aren't they, why isn't it helping them? So then I went into how replenishment works in the body. We tend to think about our body like, a car. I need gas, add gas. I need oil, add oil. I need brake fluid, add brake fluid. I need potassium, put potassium in, calcium, take a pill. You know, oh, I need some electrolytes, put some powder in a drink, you know, drink it. But guess what? Your body doesn't actually work that way. It's mineral replenishment is a very, very specific thing. And I could go, I can geek out down to a really deep level on this, But the way I like to keep it up at a higher level is to talk about bioavailability, because this is the buzzword that lots of people use in the world of supplements. Mm -hmm. And people, what what to empower your your audience, what I want them to understand is three components. One, digestion. Mm -hmm. Something has to be broken down all the way down to its ionic components where it can be absorbed. Mm -hmm. The second is absorption. That's the process by which things get absorbed into your bloodstream. And the third is assimilation, getting those components, those mineral components into your cells. Mm -hmm. And that all those three, they're like gatekeepers. If something never gets digested down to the point where it can actually be absorbed, it just gets, it eliminates. Yeah. If it doesn't get actually absorbed because there's lots of reasons for absorption issues, which is very complex. And then assimilation, which is how do you get it actually into the cell? Mm -hmm. So, Which is probably due to size, right? Right. Particle size. We might get into some of that stuff as well as other gatekeepers that bring it in. Yeah. It's, it's actually more about cell wall permeability And it's also about having, so one of the things I'm going to jump down kind of deeper into the conversation because I think it's really appropriate, which is the fulvic complex, which is part of the plant-based minerals, is what is called a flavonoid. And a flavonoid is this incredibly powerful carrier. It uses something called co-transport. It's like it can put all these minerals on its back and it carries them through the cell wall. Mm -hmm. And it drops them off, and then it binds with toxic waste, heavy metals, and bio waste, et cetera, and it carries it out. It's the only molecule that they know on Earth, electrolyte, that can change its polarity from positive to negative to do this. They're studying it actually around the world for this reason. So it's carrying a lot of negative minerals with negative charge into the cells and taking out a lot of positive charge stuff, which is oftentimes toxic, binding that and getting that out. Exactly. And and I want to make two comments at this juncture. So you mentioned something called a fulvic acid. In the in the form in, in in which is a very very important thing that I recommend people write down. We're going to talk about the fulvic acid product that you have because that's what you're really talking about is like the key thing when taking a mineral supplement. One, two, to get back to how important minerals are and how they're kind of stored is 
it's important for people to know the basics, like certain organs concentrate certain of these trace minerals, Mm -hmm. like your thyroid concentrates iodine to make Mm -hmm. the thyroid hormones. Your Mm -hmm. adrenals can use copper and other things for a whole bunch of different benefits. So different organs Mm -hmm. need these minerals. And it's, that's why there's such wide reaching effects when we don't have proper replenishment in these glands that require them as well as systemically every cell individually to keep with your premise of thinking about the cells needs this too. Okay. So let's go back to exactly where you left off in the story. Yes. So, so the main thing is this concept of replenishment. So the, the paradigm shifts that we've gone through first is that you're not just a set of systems. You are a cellular system. Your entire body is made of cells. Every cell needs minerals. So how do you replenish? And this replenishment process being a set of stages, one digestion, one absorption into the bloodstream, and three, assimilation into the cells. Okay. So... When so let's talk about how most people think about replenish mineral replenishment and I'm sure all the listeners have a cabinet and in the cabinet is pill bottles or maybe they have some powders or maybe they take electrolyte drinks okay mm-hmm. flavored electrolyte drinks okay mm-hmm. And the problem with those kinds of supplements is it's not how your body works. And what happens is you actually are creating imbalances in your system. This was such a huge aha for me, Anthony. When you take a 320 milligram pill of magnesium, let's say, First of all, your body never is able to break that material down. Most of the most of the mineral supplements are made from rocks, salts, shells, bones, things that your body is not very well evolved to digest down to its ionic components. So very only a very small amount ever even gets digested fully. Mm-hmm. So then the next thing it has to be absorbed And the fact is that inside your gut lining, you only have, there are receptors that are specific to specific minerals. So you have a lot of magnesium receptors because you need a lot of magnesium. You have a lot of potassium, Mm -hmm. but you have a small amount of things like molybdenum or Mm -hmm. phosphorus or Mm -hmm. zinc. You know, you have, well, you have a fair amount of zinc, but anyway, lots of these receptors are specific to specific minerals. So when you flood your system with all this magnesium, your your system has to work hard to actually get eliminate the excess. I was speaking with a scientist friend of mine who said, you know, think about how hard the body has to work to eliminate all the excess supplementation that people are putting in their bodies this way. Mm-hmm. So when you think about it, the way nature works is using these humic and fulvic substances, these plant-based minerals as mineral replenishment for all cellular systems on earth. Your body, your human body has been evolved through millennia to use these substances. It's what all plants, trees, all cellular systems across the earth use for mineral replenishment and system detoxification. And we'll talk about that. And these 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 complexes carry many minerals with them, and they're they come from decom. My understanding, and I want you to clarify yes. this because I think it's super cool, is they come from decomposed plant matter. That they, is like they, right because it's this cycle the Earth has, right? Like stuff comes up, lives, and then it dies, returns to the Earth, and then it's processed by the breaking down bacteria, fungi, whatever, and then it actually creates new nutrition to to spring up new life. And it just so happens that we should be taking that stuff in. And we used to, because the plants took it in. Is this kind of right? Exactly. So it used, we used to, because it used to be in our foods Mm -hmm. that we ate. And now the soils have been depleted through, you know, repeated spraying of glyphosates and different things like that, herbicides, pesticides, et cetera, chemicals that are basically rendering our soils very, um, microbe depleted and it's the microbes that that actually produce these humic and fulvic substances Mm -hmm. so so again uh, the this really important thing is that replenishment doesn't work by just putting gas in the tank it's a very very complex system and what you want to do is find a full spectrum trace mineral supplement. When I say full spectrum, I mean a supplement that has a myriad of minerals in trace amounts. Even calcium, even 
magnesium, even potassium in trace amounts, because then when you put that into your system, it does two things. One, it provides them already in a very bioavailable format. They're mm-hmm. already in their trace format. So they, it, depending on how you take it, will or it may or may not have to be digested. It's one of the beautiful things about our products is that you don't have to digest them. It skips that stage altogether. But, mm-hmm. um, but even if you have to digest them, if they're humic and fulvic, they're going to be much more bioavailable. Okay. Nice. And I want to pause. Can we pause here for a second to define minerals a little bit more, like Mm -hmm. throwing out some names that people might know Mm -hmm. and maybe talk about the difference between like a macro mineral, as I'm going to call them, ones that we need lots of, like the Mm -hmm. sodium, the calcium, potassium, and maybe the micro minerals. And without necessarily talking about what micro, what specific micro minerals may do, throw out some names that people might have heard that kind of fall into this category. I want people to understand the different categories that we're going to make here for minerals. Sure. And I think it it's actually is important because the challenge is that your body does need so many different minerals. And so the macro minerals are, they basically call them macro because you need a lot of them. Mm-hmm. And the micro minerals are the ones that you just, or micronutrients, they often call them, um, are just ones that you need very small amounts of. And and it's a it's a spectrum. So you need a lot of magnesium, calcium, sodium, as you're saying, yep. but you need a small amount of phosphorus, iodine, uh, um, molybdenum, yeah, boron. Molybdenum, boron. Yeah. Yes. Um, what were what are the other ones you're yeah, just think, all the, of course. yeah. And, and also then there's a whole bunch of crazy ones Copper. too, that are, that are really, really trace and rare. And there are a lot of these like earth metals that just have effects that we probably yes. haven't even figured out yet. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And when you think of that, your body is actually made of these components, your tissues are actually made of minerals. When you when you actually biodegrade and go back to the earth, you're just going to be a pile of minerals. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's basically minerals in water. Yeah. You know? Protein structures, minerals, yes. water. Yeah. Well, even the protein structures are ultimately made of minerals. This is when, you know, this is really when I started, my mind just kind of started to blow up. Because when you start really getting down to it, and you get down to an atomic level. It's anyway, we won't, we won't. Yeah. Keep on amino going acids so. and minerals and mm-hmm. just combination complexes for sure. Yes, exactly. So, so, so now what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about plant based minerals because th- these two components, fulvic and humic, have some really cool capacities. And um, it's why they're so effective, why they affected my health so much. So the first one is that fulvic. And I want to clarify two things. One is a fulvic acid is different than a fulvic complex, Mm -hmm. simply because it has a different pH, Mm -hmm. but also because it's processed differently. So oftentimes when you hear a fulvic acid um, or colloidal fulvic or these things, they're processed They're extracted using hydrochloric acid. Not a bad thing. It's simply that an acid is a larger molecule and it's a little less bioavailable. It has to be first broken down, digested before it can be absorbed. Okay, so it's not a bad thing. I'm just, uh, so we just understand the difference. The beautiful thing about the the fulvic complexes is, is no digestion required. Mm-hmm. So the fulvic complex is a fulvic molecule is a very, very small molecule. It's much smaller than a cell. It carries in its makeup 70 over 70 mineral uh, minerals. So it's as part of its molecular makeup. Okay. And it's a flavonoid. So I mentioned that before. It has this transportation capacity. It carries nutrients in, carries bio waste and toxins out. So the effect of that is that it greatly enhances all the other nutrition and all the other supplementation you're putting in your body hmm. to the point where, as an example, I don't drink very much. I'm a very rare drinker. But if I drink just a very small amount of alcohol, I will feel it very quickly because I have all these flavonoids in my body that are really effectively uptaking, assimilating whatever I put into my body. So 
if you're using other supplementation, zinc as an example, zinc really only works unless it gets into the cell. So people are taking a lot of zinc, but they don't have the flavonoids. And so the zinc's hanging out in their bloodstream doing nothing. It can't do yeah, it. That's kind of yet. the strategy of many supplements before yes. we get into this thing. It's like, and we design supplements too. It's like, mm-hmm. you just you just know that you need to give a larger amount than the body needs, knowing that the form is not perfectly available. You'll absorb some. It's like somewhat any. It's a. It's an absolutely inefficient process. Yet it obviously does work. People get benefit from taking magnesium mm-hmm. supplements, but this seems like this is such a more primordial way to do the the mineral supplementation in the form of a fulvic complex that's carrying well, and, everything in. And once you start, once you start using these, and because I have people who've had cramping, they take magnesium, they take potassium, etc., and they still have cramping. And then they start taking these this, these fulvic and humic substances and their cramping disappears. I had a guy who had a twitch. He was a keto guy. He had a twitch for a month. Couldn't get rid of an eye twitch. As soon as he started taking it within a week, he, and he just, all his cramping and twitching went away. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that's going to happen to everybody, but I am saying that sometimes these things can be due to mineral imbalances and just throwing a whole bunch of, of one particular mineral into the system can actually exacerbate the imbalance. Mm-hmm. That's all. Nice. So, you know, so maybe, you know, if you guys are designing supplements, maybe you need to put some fulvic into your yeah, That's a good idea. So you should yeah. call us and we'll, and we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll also figure talk out how to you we too can help because you out. <laughs> I have used your fulvic and humic acids and they're awesome, powerful. I mean, it's like you're drinking a, a drink of, of like this very dark decomposed mineral rich from the plant stuff that replenishes fast. And this is a good point to mention because you have B minerals and you make these amazing products. And I'm sure there's people listening here are going to be interested in trying them that we will have links to the show notes. And you were gracious enough to, to give a discount code fit family as well. When you go to B minerals, there's going to be a specific link where you can check out for family, you get a 20% discount. So thank you for sharing the, obviously this is a huge passion for you and the ability for people to try these at a, at a great deal too. Yeah, so let's, absolutely. let's keep, let's yeah. keep on going through yeah. this story, so- unpack it. So, so, um, and also I realized that I didn't really tell you where humic and fulvic come from. So we said they're plants, but let's really talk about it. Um, the humate is basically decomposed ancient rainforests. Like millions of years ago, there were rainforests that slowly decomposed over millennia into a strata of of earth it's a very very dark crystalline substance mm-hmm. it's called humate and out of humate there are these two components the fulvic which i've just described the very very small molecule and the humic so humic is a very very different kind of thing it has different capacities i want to talk about that one mm-hmm. i like to call it mother nature's janitor And it basically hangs out in your system, in your bloodstream. It's a very large molecule relative to a cell. So, and I I like to envision it as a Velcro ball. It's very, very sticky because it's a strong electrolyte, actually a technical term there. And it binds with free radicals. It's exponentially the best antioxidant that you can have in your system. It's it chelates with heavy metals. It binds with um, just bio waste. And the last very, very important thing, which is some new research which is coming out, which is it, it adsorbs, I'll tell you what that means, glyphosates. So mm. because glyphosates are being sprayed onto our GMO foods that we're all eating in our grains particularly, um, and glyphosates have a lot of impacts in the human body, and we could do a whole show just talking about yeah. that, so we won't go too deep into it. But one of the key ones is that they um, chelate metals out of your system. That's what. That's why glyphosate. One of the main reasons glyphosates are so bad is that they chelate metals out of. Uh, so that'd be minerals. leaching bleaching minerals out of your system, which exactly. is very amazing too. That the humic then the humate then binds to 
the glyphosate. And so and it not that. only binds to it, it also it adsorbs it. It creates like an electrical film around it. So it inhibits its ability to do that chelation process. Nice. So it actually keeps the glyphosates from doing their its negative um, impact on your system. So very, very important. In fact, we there's a study that just came out of China about this, and they did a whole study with chickens feeding them glyphosate-ridden feed. And the the chickens that were fed the the fulvic and humic had magnitudes less glyphosates in their system and bloodstream than the ones who didn't get the humic and fulvic. So nice. And there's been lots of other studies that are coming out as well. Um, That's a huge benefit because we're all being exposed to some degree of pesticides, whether or not you eat organic or not, it's sprayed on all of our main crops. So that's cool. And then when you Mm -hmm. combine these two together, you kind of have the janitor, which I also have heard that humate also boosts the immune system. I don't know if that's just a catchphrase, but I have heard this too. And then you have the fulvic that's really just driving because it's a flavonoid, driving these minerals into cells. And you're also getting the broad spectrum of minerals because you're getting this decomposed plant matter that has everything, not just one, two, or three, in the levels the receptors in your gut are going to be able to uh, effectively absorb. And then the cells, they can be assimilated because the the flavonoid and the fulvic acid can drive it in. So is that the story so far? That is, that's, that's a great synopsis. You know, the thing, the thing that, um, oh gosh, I think I might've lost the thread there. (laughs) It's okay. Well, I think it's cool because, you know, I think these are becoming so much more popular. And it's in, for example, on our Fit Father oh. side of our businesses, we have a testosterone booster. And one of the things mm-hmm. we included there is some Sheila Jeet, mm-hmm. which is there's a lot of research, right, that this does this. Well, it turns out that some of these mineral resins have fulvic and humic acids in them that make them work. And it That's sounds like Sheila Jeet is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a fulvic and humic acid thing. And it's basically this mineral resin they found in the Himalayas that people were taking for thousands of years because it increased their vitality, their lifespan. They felt amazing doing it. Well, they're like, we should look into this. And when you look down into what it actually is, it's these fulvic and humic acids. And there are deposits, like you mentioned also before we had the record in, in Utah, they have a different kind of fulvic mm-hmm. and humic acids. But I just mm-hmm. imagine this decomposed rainforest. And it's like a, almost like if you put a leaf in a, in a glass and it turns all brown over over time as it decomposes, but way more intense than that. That's exactly right. Yeah. And it has, it's, it's, it almost feels poetic to me. And I I guess I I have a tendency, I'm a spiritual person that like, this Mm -hmm. is, we're supposed to eat the decomposed stuff and be in contact Mm -hmm. with this. And then it brings us life. And then our bodies eventually return to the earth and do the same cycle over again. Mm -hmm. It like, it honestly makes intuitively sense why this is a huge part of, of what we need to do to be healthy. You know, it's so true. And I actually, you know, I, I realized after years of working with these minerals, that one of the reasons that humanity is so out of sync with Mother Earth is because we don't have enough Mother Earth in us. Mm. (laughs) So literally, one of the things that's happened to me, and I've heard it again and again from people who've taken these minerals for years now, is that their whole nervous system begins to relax. So when you think about your 37 trillion cells not having what they need, they kind of get hangry. Mm -hmm. How do you feel when you can't quite, you know, everything's, you know, everything's kind of work and a struggle. And when you actually flood your system with these plant-based humic and fulvic substances that have the myriad of mineral supplementation that your body needs in a bioavailable format then so after a while, your your cellular system starts to gain a sense of homeostasis, which then begins to help you sleep better, mm-hmm. help you have more bandwidth. So, you know, we talk about all the stress that's coming from outside in our world. And one of the things I talk about is the stress that's coming from inside, because mm-hmm. you're, you're not providing what you need to your body in the format that you can actually utilize it. So really... The reason I'm so inspired to talk about this is because I really believe, and not only believe, I see it every day with people who call me up or send me messages about how much it's impacted their life. For sure. And the reason I was so excited and, and still am to have you on the show and discussing this is because mm-hmm. I think it's like the the big, almost like, it's not it's kind of an elephant in the room, but it's also like mm-hmm. probably the biggest gap that current teaching around health and fitness has is this micronutrition, micro minerals. We spent so much time talking about calories 
proteins, carbs, fats, dialing into sustainable nutrition. And that's a huge component of it. You still need to have that nailed. Otherwise, we have the obesity, diabetes, all the things that were heart disease that we see. But And once you've kind of got that established, and there's a lot of people listening to this who have gotten that established or on the journey, Mm -hmm. this is now the finer details that we may Mm -hmm. find out are the main details later on, but at least you're learning about them now where you can really give your body what it needs with high quality micronutrition. And I believe that the sad part is, is today because of all of our farming practices, you kind of, Mm -hmm. to get this amount of trace mineral, you need to get some kind of supplement if you really want to get serious about this to get like humic acid, fulvic acid. And like, we don't plan on making these because it's complex. you got to source Mm -hmm. this proper material, do all this. Mm -hmm. This is like, Mm -hmm. your supplements are where we want Mm -hmm. people to check out if they want to go into learning more and trying these Mm -hmm. out for themselves. If people were to try this, what would you say? Like, how do they start? Do they try it for a month and see how they feel? Mm -hmm. Like, when do they start to notice benefit? I imagine it's fairly individual, but what would you suggest Mm -hmm. for someone who's like, this is interesting. I'd like to test out a bottle of something like this. Yeah. So it's, it's, first of all, everyone is different. So for somebody who is, um, very, very in, in ill health, um, they might feel a difference right away. Whereas for somebody who is, uh, super, super fit, they might not notice a difference right away. They might, after three months of taking them, they might go, oh, wow, that one chronic thing that's been bothering me for years is suddenly starting to get better. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it, it's 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 all over the map. Mm-hmm. So we have something um, we call it our advanced set, and it's two products. One is called Electrolyze, and the other is MicroBoost. And the Electrolyze, we call it that mainly because it's a fulvic sub sub supplement, and mm-hmm. it's the one that's about energy production. So what I always recommend is. Um, What you really want to do initially is give yourself those flavonoids, that fulvic is that transportation, because that enhances all of the other supplementation you're doing. Mm -hmm. One of the things I say is this, these are a fundamental biohack, okay? Mm -hmm. Minerals are the fundamental thing that you should be taking. Everyone should be taking them. If you do nothing else, take these. (laughs) <laughs> you know, and then every, and then all the food you put in your body, all that, you know, as you're starting to change your diet will be enhanced. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, that's the electrolyze. It's about energy production. If you really struggle with energy, highly recommend you starting there. And is that take it in the morning, empty stomach you, or you pretty much any time, right? Yeah. And the beautiful thing about um, the liquids is you can you can take them on an empty stomach. You can do it if you're intermittent fasting. Won't bother you. I mean, there's I have a very, very like 0.0001 num- amount of people who have maybe a little bit of uh, not even stomach discomfort. They might have some other things. Who, there are several different things. The one thing I will tell people is if you have an autoimmune you want to start slowly with these. And the reason is because both the fulvic, it's going to detoxify from inside your cells, all the, all the toxic buildup that's inside your cells. It's going to allow that stuff to get out of your cells. Okay? So for people who are highly sensitive and have, um, I don't know if your audience knows about Herx, uh, Herxheimer. Not really. It's, like the, yeah, you can explain yeah, basically, it they it's just like an allergic kind of response, maybe a rash or something like that. Um, you would just want to take a little bit at first. And so rather than taking it as a shot, you'd take it and you'd put it in a six, six or eight ounce glass of water, um, non-chlorinated water, and you'd drink it over an hour rather than just shooting it down. Yeah, For so people if you're who are sensitive, many, you go slow, put it in yes. some water. And, but, and most but sensitive by, but people by and large, know that. Super safe. Like, I mean, you can. I mean, obviously, they're minerals. They're from the earth. Decomposed plant matter. <laughs> and that is the beautiful thing about them is the number of people who do have any kind of side effects is very, very small. But if you are a sensitive person, please start slow. That's all. So that the fulvic is about the electrolyze. It's in a green bottle. That one is about energy production. The next one, which is the Nature's Janitor, the MicroBoost, that one has the humic in it. And the way I like to use that is twofold. One, you're going to take it 
every day, half a cap. And you're going to do that specifically to start letting your body get rid of the toxic buildup to just from environmental toxins, the glyphosate you're eating, just the bio waste that hasn't been able to be gotten rid of very easily. So really important. But let's say you have a cold this is where the immune the immune boost comes in. Yeah. Let's say you feel like, yeah, I think I caught something. I'll take an extra capful of it. Just yeah. pop it, pop it nice. down. And I mean, knock on wood, but you know, I haven't been sick. <laughs> I mean, I just I just don't get sick anymore. Nice. I mean, I mean, I'm like, you know, I'm yeah, gonna it, say, you know, we never it know because there's you COVID have a strong and things, system, but for sure. But um really Compared to the way I used to get these sinus infections all the time, it's really interesting. Nice. And I hear that again and again from people. So I'd like to give a practical tidbit on this real fast because I I, I think when I when I think about what the days like here at FFP and FMP were so focused on, how do you create this rhythm of a health routine that you can sustain, you can reset every day? The morning period, everyone knows, is about rehydration. So what if this became a rehydration and remineralization? So it's a, a habit like putting the pinch of pink Himalayan sea salt is still a great thing, right? You're getting some sodium chloride. There are 80 plus trace minerals in that, but then you can boost it even more with the real drivers of like humic and fulvic acid. So you could put those in the same water cap that you do and chug it down, just makes your water very dark and it tastes very good. Um, and I've been doing that and it is fantastic. So th- there's that. I think in the morning is an easy habit. And I don't know what the bioavailability, or not bioavailability, but like the half-life of these substances, but it seems like a good idea for me to get them into the body early during an energy producing time of the day, let alone if you do have lunch and maybe there's some glyphosate in those corn tacos that you got down mm-hmm. from wherever, um, you know, if that's what you had, then it might bind that too, if you have some humate in the body. Yeah, absolutely. And the beautiful thing about the liquid minerals is that they stay actually ionized or dissolved in your system much longer than a pill or a powder or even a flavored drink kind of thing. They, so th- over time, what happens is your body gets more and more remineralized. So as an example, I, I did, the, there's a particular scan you can do called an Oliga scan for your mineral levels. And I did one recently, and, and the woman who did the scan, she's like, you know, I never see scans like this, you know, that where like everything's either in the yellow or in the green, you know, she's just, it just doesn't happen. That's a testament. Do they test for a bunch of trace minerals too in the Oliga scan? The Oliga scan tes- tests, as it's fantastic, it tests for all your beneficial minerals, all your toxic uh, heavy metals. So like um, lead and it stuff also in the bones, et cetera. Tells for, yeah, it, it tests sulfur conjugation um, and uh, some. It also it, there's some other things. They're actually working on a glyphosate test also, which would be we're really waiting for that because right now the only place you can get a glyphosate test is at Great Plains, and it's yep. yeah, hard to Got get. It. So nice. Okay, well, I want to turn back the floor to you for anything you'd like to share, kind of in conclusion with this. Short but very informative exploration on the mm-hmm. world of minerals, fulvic acid, humic acid. What would you like to share with people as some closing thoughts or even you know more information if, if we haven't touched on something you think is important? Well, what I'd like to do is just remind people of kind of the real high points. The first is you've got 37 trillion cells. Every cell needs minerals. You can't get enough minerals from the foods you eat. You must supplement your body does not work like a car. So adding supplement, mineral supplements in large amounts can create as many imbalances as they um, are trying to solve. What you need is a full spectrum mineral supplement in, that provides those minerals in trace amounts. One of the most effective ways you can do that is with plant-based minerals, humic and fulvic supplements. Um, and if you can find liquid humic and fulvic, that is going to be even better, particularly ionized humic and fulvic. Yeah, and okay. again, if people want to try B minerals, you can just go to bminerals.com. Um, I recommend the advanced set. And if you use the fit, fit, fit family, family. Yeah, yeah, fit, fam- fit family, one word. Yeah. Fit family, one word, you'll get uh 20% off. Um, and thanks for doing that for us, by the way, 
Oh we yeah, appreciate, I we appreciate the code for the for the family here listening on the podcast, <laughs> and I think there will be a lot of people who want to try and start to optimize health. I know this is something I brought you on strictly because I really believe this is an important topic, and I'm up in my mineral game, particularly plant derived minerals. Like I'm I'm all in on this concept. It's it's powerful. Hey, you know, and, and for people who have young kids who are doing sports, I highly recommend the electrolyze in their water bottle for those games and also getting our our fulvic spray. It's called Instalites. I mean, I've heard so many stories of kids who are doing sports and coming off the field with their, their legs cramping. You just spray that stuff right on their legs. It's incredible. Nice. So, yeah. Well, Caroline, thank you so much for this. So <laughs> B, B Minerals, they can check that out. Fit Family is the code. And I want to leave everyone with this, the real powerful thought that these bodies that we have are, you know, made from the na- natural processes, right? The, the sun on the, in the ambient sun mm-hmm. is interacting with our skin, our bones, and ultimately all the food that we eat is receiving minerals from the earth. And like the more connected we can get to this natural cycle, which oftentimes means using the technology of supplementation in a, in a toxic depleted world is what creates the longest health. And, um, and the minerals are a huge part of the equation. So thanks for sharing your wisdom and your inspiration. I'm even more gung ho about minerals and I hope someone really did enjoy this conversation today. Thanks, Caroline. Thank you, Anthony. I so appreciate being on the show. Thank you.